so in this lecture uh, we will study about some cases so in free vibration in free vibration the amplitude the amplitude of oscillation the amplitude of oscillation will be very small will be very small so therefore we can use following results uh, so important results uh, you should remember that uh, results to keep in mind that is scheme so limit theta approaching zero of sine theta is equal to theta limit theta approaching zero of cos theta is equal to one limit theta approaching zero one minus cos theta is equal to theta square by two so this is the <clears throat> few steps you should uh, remember so let's discuss some cases so first thing uh, you should keep in mind that we have to make few assumptions here so we have to make few assumptions so the assumption is uh, assumption is spring is massless spring is massless now let's talk about the uh, first case study that is the case 1 so suppose the uh, given system looks like this there is a spring mounted to some trolley here so this trolley has mass m and this spring has mass constant k here and uh, now we are going to uh, like pull this trolley to some distance x so after uh, be released from this final position it's going to so the mean position what is the mean position so we can see uh, so after removing from its uh, final position it's going to it's going to oscillate about its equilibrium position something like this so it will oscillate about its equilibrium position so this is equilibrium position so here uh, two types of uh, like force will act so first one is uh, so suppose um, it is a block here of mass m this thing this whole thing and uh, it will now let's draw its fbd diagram mg and uh, there will be force acting on it that is inertial force efi and the spring force fs in the left hand side direction so the system so the whole system so this whole system is made up of system is equal to spring plus mass system so what is the problem solving technique so first uh, first we have to uh, so the step one is to recognize is to recognize the system is to recognize the system whether the system is uh, inertia inertia damping damping or restoration so first step is to apply recognize the system second uh, step is to 
decide decide the displacement displacement variable so this displacement variable can be like uh, x in pure uh, translation in pure translation motion theta can be in pure rotation motion pure rotation or we can assume both x and theta also both x and theta so this is the second step that is lead to decide the displacement variable now uh, now the third step is to Now the third step, the third step is to recognize, is to recognize the equilibrium position, recognize the equilibrium position. The fourth step is to provide, is to provide displacement provide displacement to the system the fifth the fifth uh, step is to draw free body diagram that is fbd free body diagram at uh, free body diagram at displaced at displaced position and the sixth step is to um, write the equation of motion. The sixth step is to write the equation of motion. So by um, so by so by D. Alambert's principle. So by so by D Alambert's principle equation of motion equation of motion can be like summation of all forces acting in x direction equal to zero so we can say that uh, inertial force plus spring force is equal to zero so inertial force is mass into acceleration so we can write m double differentiation of displacement that is x double dot plus kx that is the spring force should be equal to zero so let's take m common so after taking m common we are going to get x double dot k by m x equal to zero so here uh, k by m is equal to omega n square that is the natural frequency so x double dot plus omega n square x equal to zero so this is the uh, equation of so this is the equation of motion equation of motion now uh, let's look uh, at the uh, second case uh, so the second case looks something like this. Let me raise this one first.
so the uh, it is case second so the case second looks uh, something like uh, this so suppose there is an any inclined plane so there is an inclined uh, inclined plane which is mounted to to which uh, a trolley spring system is attached so the mass of trolley is m and the spring constant for uh, this spring is k So just assume that uh, at t equal to zero second, it is in at equilibrium spring at is an equilibrium position. T equal to zero is an equilibrium position. Now let's uh, draw the FPT diagram. So this angle is alpha here. So after drawing the FPT diagram, uh, so in this direction the force will be mg sin alpha and uh, at downward direction the force will be mg cos alpha mg cos alpha so this is mg sin alpha and at this direction there will be k lambda k lambda so by using uh, D. Lambert's principle that is summation of all forces in x direction should be zero. So we can write the inertial force plus spring force is equal to mg sin alpha. So let's uh, F, so we can write fi equal to mx double dot plus kx. So spring force is kx plus k lambda is equal to mg sin alpha mg sin alpha so we know that uh, for uh, so so at the equilibrium position so at uh, at the equilibrium position at the equilibrium position k lambda is equal to mg sin alpha so here we can substitute uh, mg sin alpha as a k k lambda so after substituting we are going to get uh, mx double dot plus kx plus k lambda equal to k lambda k lambda and uh, it will get it will be getting cancelled k lambda k lambda so final location we are going to get is mx double dot plus kx is equal to zero so we can write uh, that x double dot plus omega n square x equal to 0 so this is the equation of motion here so there are a uh, few uh, keep in mind stuff uh, you should know that uh, that uh, uh, so so if we if we remove if we remove the m if we remove the m and uh, the length of spring the length of spring may increase or uh, may increase or decrease then we should consider then then we should then we should consider consider the component consider the component of mg and there uh, Thing you should keep in mind that uh, if 
if the unstretched unstretched or uncompressed uncompressed length of uncompressed length of spring changes spring changes due to due to mg that is the weight then then it will then it will never appear appear in the equation of in the equation of motion in the equation of motion so in the next lecture uh, we will learn about uh, uh, solution of equation motion so for now you can uh, wrap up